and welcome back to what should be the very last let's play for The Path. This has been brought to you courtesy of myself, Lazo, and today we are completely free of interlopers, guests or intruders. You know, other than the bloke hiding behind me. Ah, I made you all look. Anyway, today we're going to be playing as Carmen, the last of the sisters hood, who is apparently very proud of her tits. Look at her. Yeah, we can see them, love. That's quite alright, thank you. Right, onward and outward. Uh, basically, I'm going to cut pretty much everything out, so you'll only see a few bits and pieces before the end. See you in a bit. Okay. We found the bathtub, we found as the rose. And Carmen's apparently going to climb into it, despite it being filled with mould and... Well, black mould at that. Horrendous, really. But we got a picture of the end of staircase from Super Mario 64 again. Awesome. So it was going downwards this time, I think. A bit hard to tell. A little bit of soap and a lot of warm and wet. Well, we all love a lot of warm and wet, love. Never alone anymore. Talking about water, of course. We don't go in for that sort of bathroom toilet humour here. But, anyway. Onward to the next locale. Okay, for some reason it cut out a large section of the video from my recording there. I really, really don't know why. Um, but I just really don't know. The tent is closed, the shack is closed, yet the beer seems fresh, and the fire is still warm. Uh, great, I guess. Let's go exploring, shall we? Dear God, she's just asking for trouble, isn't she? Look at her sauntering along. Uh, obviously, the stuff you guys will have missed. Some of the things I found, well, most of the stuff I found, all largely indicates the young Carmen here is, to be quite frank, a touch boy crazy. She seems to set a lot of stock in whether or not she has a companion, shall we say and feels miserable without someone constantly giving her attention and reassurance and such. And I have a uh, pretty substantiated feeling this is how she's going to get herself murdered. What you guys didn't see, there's a woodcutter in here. Some bloke who's got to be at least 10 15 years older than her, even though she is the oldest of the girls. I have a feeling she's going to throw herself at him. In a uh, drunken stupor, and it's going to end badly. Let's create the mood, shall we? Set the fire, and all the rest of it. And she can do that just with her hand. That's how awesome she is. That's how smoking hot she is. And light a fire just by poking it with her finger. And the freaks crouched over there in its tent, watching us. The warm glow caresses my skin, peels me layer by layer, like an onion, until I am pure for you. Yeah, see what I'm saying here? Very fixated on the sexual and stuff here. So I don't be surprised if it's her example that led young uh, Ruby down the path of ruin. But oh well, not much you can do in this whole situation. Almost enough to drive a person to drink, isn't it? And speaking of... What do we have here? X-rated beverages. You're right, that is some damn sexy carbonated stuff. Oh look, it's the shack of the carpet salesman. That's not suspicious at all. Fresh out and warm in. Spinning head and bubbling blood. Yeah. I don't know if there are any female fans watching me play this game, but perhaps you can answer this question. What part of getting absolutely smashed and then going to hang out with a bunch of guys do you think is going to end well? 
No, never mind. What a cheeky little mare. She stole his hat. And he's completely bald. Well, not completely. Just the top half, which is kind of funny, actually. Ah, you bald git. <laughs> Except you're not interacting anymore, are you? Sometime today, Sunny Jim, would be nice. You just hurry up and offer, we can uh, all be about our business. Yes, rawr at you too. Well, balls to this. I'll be back in a second when I figure out how to activate um, the final cutscene. Okay, so it turns out all you had to do was come and sit over on this box here. And yeah, here he comes. He was clomping his way over. My like, howdy, darling. What brings a pretty little thing like you here? That wasn't even a vaguely passable American accent, was it? Of course, I have a little subtlety. Start staring at her crotch. Pass her over a beer. Well, here comes the mood music. It's the drums. Boom, chicha, boom, chicha, boom, chicha, bow, wow, boom, chicha, boom, chicha, boom, chicha, bow, wow. Just waiting for the uh, saxophone to kick in. <laughs> but yeah, anyway. I think this basically brings us more or less to the end of yet another girl's playthrough. And this should be the end of the game, I believe. I think, maybe, possibly. Who knows? Should be. Should definitely be. And the screen blacks out. Let's cue the rain, shall we? Awesome. Here we go. Just straight up. I'm not going to even bother trying to pan this time. Just to get this over and done with. <laughs> See her rubbing at her hand. Got a bit of a hangover, have we, love? Walking with a stiff leg gait. Why does my ass hurt? I don't know. I really don't. I should ask that lumberjack fellow you were with last night. Yeah. We have finally reached the end. Um, before we watch the final bit of Jacob's Ladder freakiness. I'd just like to say thank you all for watching me play this. It's been a great deal of fun for the most part. Uh, it's been very cool entertaining you all and such. Uh, final flower count, for those of you interested, is 121, I believe. So I'm missing, you know, 23 or so. Don't really see it being that big of a deal. But yeah. Maybe one day I'll go back and play through one of the girls' chapters again and get the rest, but not today. Definitely not today. For today, I'm going to go make some soup and probably some shortbread. I just got a hankering for fresh made shit, so yeah. Throw an old shirt on and do some cooking, I guess. Actually, that could be the feature for this video. And if you've got any interesting recipes or shit you want me to have a go at, um, hell, I'll even record them. We can all either be amazed and awed or sit there giggling at my ineptitude in the kitchen, whichever way it happens. So, yeah, just post a comment on the channel or PM me with your uh, requests. And I'll get right on it. Well, this is pretty messed up, isn't it? That's a buzzsaw on the ceiling and urns of ash. What the hell? It's just weird. Oh, holy crap. We actually got to open the door. And it goes into the basement. Oh, joy. What the is this? Some sort of swimming pool. Lawn chairs everywhere, that's weird, to be quite frank. It's 
weird with a capital W. Oh god, that dripping sounds making me want to go to the toilet. Ah, stop it. Stop that at once. Quickly, 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 Mr. Quickly. Or Mrs. Quickly in this case, I suppose. This should give me amnesia flashbacks, this weirdness. What the crap? Someone gives themselves an orgasm with a saw. That's just... That's just uncalled for. Into the second corridor and... Yep. More saws, more orgasm noises. You're a bit of a freaky wench, weren't you, Carmen? We're at the top at least now, and what the crapping hell is this about? Moose heads and shit. Ah, the carpenter shed. Hmm, perhaps rubies rolled up in there. Onward and outward. Mm. Seems okay so far. Oh crap. Okay, who left the space heater on? We've had words about this before. Through the door. Uh, that's not symbolic at all. Her bed speared by a giant shaft of wound. What the crapping hell? What kind of freaky shit were you into, love? There on your need with your head wired up. This guy stands over you, that's pretty creepy. So yeah, I guess I was right. In her desperation to find a man, she... And, well, not be alone. That's the overriding factor, actually. She got herself brutally murderized by a creep. that would be a lesson to us all. Okay, and that should be the end of the game. Thank you all for watching. I hope you've enjoyed yourselves as much as I have. And I'll see you later. I just want to show you the title screen before I go, show everyone disappear. Oh, what the crap is this?